Today is going to be a fun video on YouTube chips. Chips? <laughs> Today is going to be a super fun video on some YouTube tips about backgrounds. So if you don't know what kind of background to use in your video, I'm going to give you a couple of different styles of backgrounds. Or if you may be wanting to restyle or upgrade your background, this video is going to be for you. As you can see right now, my background kind of looks a little bit different to normal. Probably more like a 10 year old girl's bedroom. <laughs> my daughter and I have been having a bit of fun and we want to show you what we've been doing. These tips will really help your background be on brand for your business or if you're not into something more stylized what I've got here I'm going to show you some really plain simple options that look brilliant that hide the mess in your house and if you've absolutely got no budget or if you don't have enough room in your house to be putting anything up I'm gonna show you another option that is perfect for a background. If you're new here, hey there, I'm Tracy Rose, and on this channel we talk about all the things that you need to build a business from home. So if you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button and make sure you click the bell too so you don't miss out on any new videos. So over here we have my background which is what I normally have some baskets I've usually got crystals you know beach coral and my daughter honey is doing these videos and so she wants some cool stuff to make hers look a little bit more kid friendly pop with cool colors and stuff all the stuff we got from Kmart and what we're gonna do is swap out these baskets and fill up some of the boxes and it's gonna look super cute for her channel this is turning out. The thing is though, when you're using say a fancier camera, you can really play with your background. Often I will blur the background out a little bit and depending on what kind of lens you have, what kind of camera at the moment, I'm using a Canon 60D, which is a big, heavy, DSLR camera with a quite a long lens on it. But I also have a little vlogging camera, which is a Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. And that one, you can also blur out the background. When you're using a phone, you can't actually blur the background out just yet. I'm sure that's coming. What I do find though, is the picture quality is much better when you're using a camera, but again, Obviously that kind of background is a little bit more involved and kind of, you know, like you need to have some sort of sense of style, but then again, I don't know if I'm really stylish, but my daughter's got some good taste. So she made it look really pretty. An easier thing that you could do though is actually get a background. So this is being custom made by a friend of mine, Emma, who does these beautiful backdrops and you can get them with your logos on it. You can get them specially personalized to your type of business. This is actually double-sided. <laughs> Someone behind it. <laughs> the good thing with these types of backgrounds is you can hide what's behind it. So if there's children, you can hide stuff behind it. If you've got piles of washing, you can hide and your videos always look clean and crisp and on brand. That's super creepy, honey. <laughs> If you like something a little bit plainer, why not try maybe some wallpaper? This kind of looks like a brick wall or maybe wallpaper that has brick wall print on it, but this is actually a background as well. But I have seen it one of my favorite cafes here in Sydney. It actually has a wall which is a brick print, which I think looks super cool. The other thing is you could just go to the outdoors. Doing videos outside is really beautiful. I love watching people when they're doing videos outside and when they take you on a bit of a journey is super fun. The only thing is though, if you don't have an external mic connected to your camera, or maybe it's a little bit too windy, or maybe the sunlight isn't right, or maybe it rains while you're trying to film the video, or maybe you're even embarrassed about doing your videos outside because you're worried about what people are gonna think, it deters a lot of people from doing videos consistently. And that is actually one of the main things that makes you successful in your video marketing. So I hope you liked this video on YouTube tips helping you with your background. If you've got another idea for a cool background, let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking for creative ideas on what to do in my videos. And if you're new here and haven't subscribed, make sure you do that and click the bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos that we upload right here.
This looks so pretty, honey. Look at it. It looks amazing. Yes, hallelujah.